The best way to achieve this look, this color that you're looking right now, is zero picture profile. Welcome to my channel, my name is Little Boy, and today I'm gonna share with you how to color grade like a pro on Final Cut Pro. Pro. Today we have so many picture profiles, so many settings, so many colors and LUTs and all this stuff. I'm gonna be very honest with you guys. Sometimes you just gotta test some things and see what works for you. At this moment right now, I'm not saying that's the perfect way for you, but if it's gonna be a plus in your project, feel free to use my ways and hopefully I can help you to achieve a nice quality video for your projects or even for your clients. A couple months ago, I did a video saying that S-Log 2 was the best and the perfect and the most pleasing look to my videos, but that was back then. And I still use S-Log 2, but mostly for my clients and when it's not too bright. Com você o mais rápido possível em horário comercial. As you probably know, the ISO starts at 800, so that's very, very bright. Because now, my priority is I need to be fast, consistent, and quality content for you guys. The best way to achieve this look, this color that you're looking right now, I set my white balance with my key light, which in this case is 56K. I add some background lights just to give a little bit of contrast. I just make sure that I have a nice lighting, a nice audio so you guys can understand me. That's pretty much it. This week I was talking to one of my new friends, Simonte, Simonte, I don't know, but I was telling him it's literally what works better for you. Let's jump on Final Cut Pro and I'm gonna show you all my secrets and what's the post-production process to achieve this look right now. First thing first, command seven, and let's see the lumen scope so we can be very precise. Let's go to color inspector and go to exposure. Long story short, this is just the representation of our image. Zero is gonna be like the shadows, the dark parts, and a hundred is gonna be more the bright, the highlight part of your image. The rule that I try to follow is don't let the shadow go under zero. It's just gonna lose quality and it's not gonna look professional. Trust me shadows just on zero and highlights just 100. You can bring mid-tones a little bit up. I like to bring a little bit more light into the skin and you can see before and after here. Looks good for me. Another thing that I love to do is tweak my skin tones and I go to hue saturation curve, selection tool, and I pick the orange and just bring a little bit. Don't do too much, otherwise it's gonna be bad, very bad. Just a tiny bit. And the blue, I like to play a little bit more for Cyan, just to get that cinematic look, honey. Look at that. I'm happy with that. And to be more professional, I add just a little curve, okay? Same thing, highlights on the top and shadows and dark areas on the bottom. So I just do a point here and here to isolate the mid-tones and I just bring a little bit of my highlights up you can see the difference here. And the shadows and the dark areas are gonna bring a tiny bit up as well. Just to bring a little bit of details in that area. Not too much, okay? Tweak a little bit, see what works better for you. For me, this is perfect. Look at this, before and after. Mm, looks great. You can see here, before and after everything, and I'm very happy with that. One last touch, I like to bring the color. So let's go to saturation and add a little bit more of saturation. The whole thing looks very vivid, very nice. I like it a lot. Now that you have all these presets from the settings, you can save and you don't need to do this ever again. So let's go to save effects presets, put the name that you want, the category that you want, select the effects, and then you're just gonna press save and Bada bing, bada boom. You have your preset. You just gotta apply it to your next projects. Thanks very much for watching this video. I hope that you learned something today. Let me know in the comment down below if you think that this video was helpful. And if you wanna support my channel, give a like, consider subscribe to this channel and watch this playlist with more than 30 tutorials straight to the point, the way that we like. I hope that I'll see you in the next video.